Tonight, people across the nation and the Bay Area are reflecting on the enduring legacy 20 years after September 11, 2001, and the deadliest terror attack on American soil. As KPX 5's Betty Yu reports on just how complicated that legacy has been for the local Muslim community. Tonight, amidst the heavy hearts, there was also a great sense of hope at this year's multi-faith gathering outside City Hall on 9-11. Look at the beautiful, diverse community here. So this is a hopeful day, and that's what inspires me to do this work. American Muslim Voice Foundation founding executive director Samina Sundas said she knows there's more work that needs to be done in America to break religious tensions. All we hear about is Taliban, 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 and the one point. Five billion Muslims are not talked about. So it's painful, you know, because there are 1.5 billion Muslims who are law abiding, wonderful, peaceful, practicing Muslims. Have you ever felt like you could disappear? 12 year old Niall Chaudhry has been coming to this event since he was five years old. He says 9 11 taught him to be proud to be Muslim. Probably what I learned the most from that day was uh, like after me not even being born then but I know that a for like the survivors they never lost hope they kept on going and uh, B to just like speak up for yourself raise awareness this US Army signals intelligence veterans said the military has made great strides we now have an imam as a chapel who is a lieutenant colonel and Muslims can now grow their beard with a waiver. It's something when I was in about 10 to 11 years ago, I didn't think it was actually possible. The terrorist attacks also prompted Eric Sableman to get involved in his community. Today, he still is. After 9-11, I was looking for something that really demanded my commitment and multi-faith voices was had just begun at that time and so I was looking for something to do and joined the steering committee in Palo Alto Betty you KPIX 5